Hey there, Sagittarius. This is Renee, and welcome back. Sagittarius, this is going to be the next three months. What you can expect, what's going on, what's coming forward for you in the next three months, okay? And we're going to um, pull some oracle cards for your energy, and then we're going to take a look at the tarot. Also, stick around to the end because... Um, I'll be pulling an angel number for you. You'll be able to get a meaning for that angel number. You can also look up that angel number and do a little research on your own to see what it specifically means for you at this time, okay? What it means for you for the next three months, okay? And of course, if this reading resonates, please like, subscribe, hit that bell, and um. If it doesn't, go ahead and take a look at your other placements, okay? So let's get into this, Sagittarius. What is going on? Okay, we have the Eight of Thoughts. Now, this is similar to the Eight of Swords, okay? You may feel as though you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in, but that's just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's not making you happy. Don't wait for someone to come and rescue when you can free yourself. Okay? Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So I'm getting the energy that, you know, with this Eight of Swords, you know, you're kind of keeping yourself locked away for some reason. Okay, we have Quiet Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Okay, so that's the reason why you're holding yourself back, because you're trying to figure things out. You're trying to work things out in your mind. See, we're going to take one more because I need to see this. Okay. Okay, we have visualized abundance in all forms. God gave you such a great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of what of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. Okay, so you may be manifesting at this moment. Maybe you're trying to find a quiet spot to bring something to life, to bring something forward. Okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, you're in like this hermit mode to where you know you're not really focused on the outside world at the moment you're focused on what you need to do in your world in particular okay um let's take a look at more energy for sagittarius okay we have denial i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness okay Let's give one more energy for Sagittarius. <clears throat> Faith. Okay. Okay. Um, Sag, here's the thing. I feel like there's something that you're refusing to believe. But I feel like, you know, Spirit is letting you know that you have great faith in this situation that you know you can get through any situation you don't have to hold yourself back you don't have to in you know um imprison yourself or keep yourself away because of something that may have happened but i feel like you're going through a big struggle right now there's something going on, Sagittarius. And I feel like uh, Spirit of them, you know, to have faith in your situation. Stand strong. Okay? Uh, let's take a look at the tarot. Let's 
take a look at this message in the tarot. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what you may need to release in order for something better to come in the next few months. So something that you are releasing for your greater good, okay? There's something that just has to go to bring something better in. Okay, and we'll take a look at what that is. Okay, Sagittarius, message for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to release for their greater good? What does Sagittarius need to release? Oh, fears. Fears and worry. What else does Sagittarius need to release? The worries about money. Oh. Okay, here we A lot of cards want to come out. So there's a lot of things that you're worrying about. There's a lot of things that's keeping you up. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. Feeling like you have enough. Feeling like, wow, okay. Okay, at the bottom we have the High Priestess. So I feel like in the midst of this, okay. Oh, let's see. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel like there's things keeping you up. I feel like you are really worried about your situation. Maybe, you know, you feel like you don't have enough. You feel like, you know, um, you're pinching pennies to pay the bills or... You know, things are breaking down and you don't have the money to fix them. But I feel like money is a really big concern for you because we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So there's a feeling of you wanting to have enough. There's a feeling of you wanting to be self-sufficient, to be independent, to have what you need. Okay? And I feel like there's a great fear that needs to be released. The Spirit is letting you know that, you know, don't worry about these things that you do not have at this moment because it's coming. Because you are, you are worthy of everything that you need. Trust in the process. Trust in the universe. Trust in your angels and your spirit guides because the things that you need are on the way. Okay? Trust in those blessings because, um, I feel like that's how the, that's where this faith is coming in at, okay? But I feel like Spirit is letting you know to trust, to trust in the process. The money that you need is on the way. It's on the way, okay? Where you're going to be more so self-sufficient. You're going to have what you need. Um, if something is broken, you're going to have that fixed. You're going to have that taken care of. Um, so spirit is letting you know to, you know, dump out that worry, just release that worry and have faith, have faith in your situation. Okay. See, this is the after tarot, you know, normally in these cups, no, normally in these cards, normally this person is lying down underneath these swords, letting the nightmares kind of overcome them, letting worry, sleeplessness, you know, anxiety, depression, letting that overcome them. You know, even though they have this bank, this blanket of protection on them, you know, they they're laying back and just taking in all this worry, all this negative energy. Now, with this after tarot card, um, they, they've now woken up. They're battling these demons. They're not letting them overcome. They're not letting them um, feel the full effects like they did before. They feel this blanket of protection. They feel protected. So they feel like, yeah, I can battle whatever I need to battle. 
If it's worry, I, I can get rid of this worry. If it's depression, I can work through this depression. If it's anxiety, I got this. You know, I'm battling my demons. You know, so I, I feel like, Sagittarius, what this is saying is for you to release. Just pour that worry out and let it flow because it's not something that you need to hold on to. That's not a cup that you want, okay? There's a cup that's coming in that's much better suited for you. And that's this Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, okay? So that, that's what needs to be released. You need to release your worry. And, you know, every time I see that Nine of Swords, I think of my mom because, you know, my mom is a Sagittarius as well. And, oh, my gosh, she worries all the time. And I try to tell her. I try to get her to understand, Mom, worrying is not going to help. Worry is not going to change anything. Let go of the worry and just believe that things are going to work out for the best. Have faith. You know, miraculous things happen with our faith. Okay, so release that worry, Sag. Okay. Here is, okay, next we're going to take a look at what is challenging you in the next three months. Okay, the Queen of Wands. Woo, the Justice card. The Seven of Pentacles. And the strength. Wow. Here we go. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Seven of Wands. So I feel like what challenges you're going to go through is there, in, in, in the next three months, there is going to be some battle that you'll be fighting. You'll be, you'll be winning battles here, okay, because you're coming through as this queen of wands. So you're very fiery, very passionate. You're not sitting down waiting for anything, okay? If conflict comes towards you, you are in the first, you know, you, you're in there first just letting them know, you know, this is not happening. You're going to put down those wands, you know, that this is just not going on right now. I'm not putting up with this. Okay. And I, I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. I feel like if there's competition, if there's something that, you know, someone is standing up to you, I feel like you're, you're making them back down because you have this authority. You have this drive, this passion, this confidence. I feel like you have everyone scared. <laughs> Okay, Sagittarius, I feel like you have everyone scared. Everyone is just like standing their ground because, you know, if there's some kind of conflict, you are just putting your fist down and it's like, no, I'm not dealing with this right now. You're going to have to go someplace else. But I feel like you are adapting to your situations. And I feel like, you know, there are going to be challenges that are going to come ahead. And I feel like you are standing your ground. You are not backing down from any fight, any battle, any, you know, conflict. Okay. I feel like you are, you're taking up that challenge. And you are... You're winning the fight, you know. You have the justice card, so things are definitely going to go your way. If there's some kind of situation, some kind of contract that you'll be dealing with in the next three months, I feel like, you know, it's, it's going to be very beneficial for you to really look over those contracts, to really read them, and um, don't just sign something that you're not fully aware of. But I feel like things are going to go your way. If there's some kind of court situation, you know, you, you're going to get that, that decision that you're looking for, okay? But I feel like this is justice. This is karma. This is the work that you put into the past. I feel like you're getting that reward, okay? You're getting your good karma coming around to you. And I, I feel like the challenge in the thing is waiting, 
your challenge is waiting for success to come around, waiting for the good things. You know, you know, he has all of these pinnacles that are growing on this tree, you know, but he has just this one pinnacle because all the rest of these aren't ready yet. You know, so he's walking away with this one pinnacle like, you know, when are the rest going to be ready? When can I have all of my pinnacles? You know, and so I, I feel like that's the hard part. The hardest part is going to be waiting. That's your challenge. And I feel like spirit is letting you know to be strong, to be confident, to be aware. Um, and you have the strength in order to go through what you're going through in the next three months. Okay. And I feel like, you know, there are battles, there are conflicts, there are struggles that you're going through, but you're going to come out ahead. Okay. Because you have, look at this, the justice and the strength. So whatever is happening isn't enough to break you. Not at all. Not at all. Because you're strong. You're stronger than you know. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to get, I'm going to go a little bit deeper in your challenge because I want to know more about this. Okay, the, yeah, you have spiritual guides backing you. Look at this. We have the Queen of Wands again. You have this fire. You have this fire. At the bottom, we have the Nine of Swords. So I feel like you're releasing this Nine of Swords energy. You know, this is something that you are releasing. You're letting it go. You're not letting it hold on to you. So I feel like you have got your fire. You may have been in denial for a moment, but I feel like, you know, you've put your faith into action and you understand that your guides are backing you up. You have protection. Um, your, your spiritual guides, your spiritual higher, higher beings, uh, whatever it is that you believe in, your higher power is... Um, Increasing your faith. You're able to take inspired action due to having faith. Okay? So this is beautiful energy. And I'm really liking this. We have the Queen of Wands twice. Wow. So you have, you have faith in two directions. You have your spiritual guides. The higher power of protection, of guidance, okay? And you have increased inner strength, okay? So that's beautiful. Oh. Beautiful energy, Sagittarius. So whatever challenges that you may be facing, you're going to be just fine. You know, you're going to get through those challenges. You have your protection. You're being protected. You're being guided. Okay. So let's take a look at your blessings. What's coming in for Sagittarius? What blessings are coming in for Sagittarius in the next three months? What blessings are coming in? Okay. We have the Knight of Swords. Wow. The Empress. The Devil, okay, the Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Interesting. At the bottom, we have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like there's a lot of opportunities coming in for you. There's a lot of gifts coming in for you. Um, with this Knight of Swords and the Empress, I feel like... You know, something that you're manifesting, some something that you're manifesting is coming in very quickly. Um, it could be if, if you are really, look at that, the seven, I was shuffling and the seven of cups came up again on the bottom. Um, if it's money that you're looking for, I feel like you're actively manifesting the money that you need. I feel like whatever you need 
is going to come forward for you. It's coming in with, with uh, swiftness. It's going to come in at just the precise time. Um, so I feel like there's victory here. Okay. Um, in the next three months, the blessings. Okay. Now this is interesting because we have the devil, the five of pentacles, and the four of wands. But this is your blessings. So what, what I see here is that, you know, there's negative things around you that you're releasing, that you're letting go of in order for the good things to come in. You're... <clears throat> Not so worried about the feeling of not having enough or the feeling of lack. You're moving away from that feeling of not having enough, of not having any, um, not having lack, you know, of, of lacking something in your life, of not being fully appreciated, not feeling, um, feeling like you're left out, okay? So I, I feel like you're moving away from those feelings. You're moving away from that negative energy. And you're letting the positive energy in with this Empress card. Okay? The Empress, she's like a vision of positivity. She can manifest whatever she desires, when she desires. Okay? She's also a very good mother. And she's also very fertile for... Um, for birthing new projects, you know, for creating, for, you know, if, if you're looking to get pregnant, yeah, she's very fertile for having children as well, you know, so if you, if you don't want to get pregnant in the next three months, I feel like you may need to take precautions, okay, but I, I feel like this is manifestation in action, Okay, letting go of the negativity and replacing it with positive things. And then there's this four of wands celebration, this great harvest. Okay, so I feel like what you're manifesting, you're going to be able to harvest in the next three months. Okay, there's a big blessing coming through. There's going to be increase. There's going to be an abundance coming through for you and it's going to be a reason for celebration for get togethers for a reunion okay so that's beautiful energy we're going to go ahead and dive a little deeper in this as well because i want to know a little bit more about this so let's see we're going to get this deck <clears throat> tell me more about this blessing for sagittarius spirit give me more messages about this blessing for sagittarius that, see, what did I say? The King of Pentacles. This is new money coming in. Yeah, and the Chariot card. Beautiful energy. Look at this. At the bottom, we have the Six of Wands. Success, victory, being recognized, being rewarded. Okay? So I feel like there's a, there's a huge blessing coming in for you in the next three months. And I feel like it's taken you a lot of work to get to this point. I'm not going to say it was easy. Because... We see the struggles that you went through. We see the things that you had to endure, okay? But I feel like with faith, you were able to overcome these obstacles, these challenges. And now this is your reward coming in here. This is your king of pentacles. You know, this is the money, the increase that you were waiting for. And I feel like it's moving it's moving forward for you. It's moving you into a better situation. This could also mean in the next three months that you can be literally moving into a better home, into a better apartment, some kind of better space. Okay? You could be literally moving. So um, that may be it as well. But um, with the King of Pentacles, now if this is a person... If this is a person, Sagittarius, that you're dealing with, I feel like the King of Pentacles, he's very wealthy. He's very caring. He's very secure. Um, he's also very loyal and um, solid, stable. 
okay? He is very dependable. This is not a greedy king, okay? The king of pentacles likes to share his wealth. He likes to take care of the people around him. Okay, so if this is a person, this may be a person that you're moving in with. This may be a new love that you're dealing with. But I feel like you're moving into a better position. Okay, so beautiful energy. In the next three months, things are really going to start to improve. And that's beautiful for you. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at love. What is going on in Sagittarius' love life? Let's get some messages for love, please. Okay, we have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things come into light, adapting, change, and healing. Okay, and we have the butterfly. Wow, the dragonfly and the butterfly, huh? Okay, we have relationships evolve into the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Okay, so if you are in a relationship, it may be that you're moving to the next phase of, of your relationship. If you're not in a relationship, you're taking this time to heal and grow and to really work on your, your inner self, on your inner child, on your needs and wants. Okay, so let's take a look at some messages that we have for Sagittarius. Let's take a look at some messages we have for Sagittarius. Okay, we have... You're so close to a win here. Okay, yeah, very close. I feel like things are going to come in a lot better. Big blessings are coming. Beautiful. <laughs> we have I'm crazy. Okay, I'm not sure who that's coming from, but someone is letting you know I'm crazy. Okay, we have I'm sorry I have issues from a past relationship. So th there may be someone that you're dealing with that may want to take things the slow. Um because they're having issues with the past relationship, but you make me happy. So that's very interesting here. And we also have, please forgive me. You make me happy. Please forgive me. Okay, so someone has a message for you. That's very interesting. Okay, and now we're going to take a look at the Moonology manifestation cards. Get a message for the monology. See, we have first quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation. Okay. And we have step into your power. First quarter moon in Aries. So you are powerful than you know, Sagittarius. You are very powerful. You know, you have to assess your situation and step into your power. At the bottom, we have push through any insecurities, okay? So that's that fear. That's that fear that you need to release. Step out of that energy, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's get some more Oracle cards for Sagittarius. What are the messages do we have for Sagittarius, please? Okay, we have spiritual growth. So there, and, and I feel like there's a lot of spiritual growth at this moment. I feel like, you know, spirit is with you. If you have a question, spirit is letting you know the answer is yes. The answer is yes for you, Sag, because you have angelic protection. Beautiful. The spirits are around you. I feel like they're around you very strongly. Um, during this three month period, I feel like you have angelic protection. You have the guidance that you need to get through your situation. Okay, so at the bottom we have blessings and abundance. So I feel like those blessings are very close. Okay, let's get some more cards for, let's get some more cards for Sagittarius. This is an incredible reading, actually. Let's see, we have inner. Oh my God! 
Oh my gosh, we have inner strength. Of course, of course we got inner strength here. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. And we also have open communication. Get a weight off of your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. Okay? Beautiful. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. I mean, this is... You know, I don't think I've had this many spirit-minded cards in quite a while. So this is very, very refreshing. I feel like there's, there. you have a guardian angel. You have spirits that are surrounding you, okay? So this is beautiful. Let's get you an angel number. Okay. We have eight, eight, eight. Eight, abundance. Blessings are here. More are on the way. Let yourself feel the abundant flow of prosperity that is all around you. As you stand in your highest self, you attract all that you once were seeking. Giving is always the doorway to success. Okay? Your affirmation, Sagittarius, the more good I do in the world, the more abundant my life grows. I radiate an energy of loving kindness. Okay? So that is your reading, Sagittarius. So if this reading re uh, resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And um, I'll have those in a playlist if you want to take a look at your other placements. And until your next reading, Sagittarius, many blessings to you, love and light.